Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today we are getting inspired by public art, specifically monuments. Monuments are sculptures that, so public art, what's that? That is art that is that is art that you can see in your neighborhood, in your community. Murals, sculptures that are made of bronze and stone. Or even things like spray paint art that you might see on those special walls, like in Cambridge. Those are all forms of public art. They're art for people walking around the city to enjoy. And... There's a specific type of public art that celebrates people for their heroic and helpful things they do. That's called a monument. My favorite monument in Boston is the Harriet Tubman Monument. And it's in the South End and it's created by an artist. It's named Fern Cunningham. And I just love that monument because I think Harriet Tubman's an important person to celebrate. There's also an amazing mural artist in Boston named Pro Black. So mural artists, sometimes they have uh, fancy nicknames. And Rob Problack is makes these amazing monuments that celebrate his family and his neighborhood and give his family and neighborhood a fantastical and science fiction-y kind of spin. So what if his neighborhood, what if people, so he thinks about things like what if his daughter had a magic power? And I love his artwork. I love seeing it around the city when I'm riding my bike. So, this is your challenge. We're going to create an artwork that has a message and is meant to be out in public in your neighborhood. Here's a couple of examples I created. This artwork says, take care of the earth. It's a giant tall mural. And its message is all about taking care of the earth and remembering that even though we're in a city and we see a lot of things that are made by people, we still live in nature as well. As remind this mural I made to remind people that, you know, we still got to take care of the earth by recycling and keeping an eye out for natural animals and plants in our city and making sure that those take and making sure we take care of and plant lots of trees because those make us oxygen. So that's what I made. This is two dimensional because it's painted on the side of a building. It's flat. Here's some three dimensional ideas that I created. This is the first one. It's inspired by Jim Henson who created the Muppets, and I would love to see this in a city park somewhere. I'm inspired by Jim Henson, who created the Muppets and Dark Crystal and Sesame Street, which made millions of children around the world laugh and giggle. And he did it using puppets made out of recycled materials sometimes, or resourceful materials. And I wanted to celebrate that because it's really amazing that he empowered kids as an audience. And Sesame Street has such a positive message to all the little kids out there. So I made that one. I also sketched out this idea. I would love for this to be a stone or metal sculpture that celebrates nurses. And here's another one celebrating Fern Cunningham. This one I made using collage. So, our challenge, you're going to think about two things. The first thing is, what person or group of people do you think you want to celebrate through making art? 
the second thing is what where in your neighborhood would you like to see that artwork do you want to see it painted on the side of a building or as a three-dimensional sculpture in a park or do you want to see it painted on the ground for some reason that would be pretty cool so you're gonna create a sculpt a uh, project inspired by those things you can use any supplies you have drawing painting sculpture Legos even might be kind of interesting here by celebrating important people and by inventing a type of public art. Bye. Have fun making art.